Hello, I'm Nick Steinberg, and I'm going to be your narrator through this magical journey we're about to partake of the world of interviews. This video will show you how to become a great interviewer and a great interviewee. Through the interviewer's point of view, we will go over what violates hiring laws and the appropriate questions you should be asking your candidate. And through the candidate's point of view, we will go over bad interview behaviors and answers, also a good thorough interview, and how to tackle some tricky questions. Now, let's meet the cast, shall we? We have Mickey the interviewer, and your candidates, Kevin. Stay tuned and find out. Let's start with bad questions. Do you observe Yom Kippur? No. Nice to meet you. So where were you born again? San Francisco, California. Went there last summer. Don't like that place. I smell marijuana. Do you support Prop 19? Uh, no. So, how did you like going to school at San Jose State? Um, I, I like the professors there and... Did you meet a lot of guys there? Yeah, as friends, you know, oh. join some clubs. Well, see, this position here requires, you know, a little hands-on experience. Okay. So, you know, if you wanted the job, we can probably meet for some drinks after this interview. Uh, I actually, I'm actually busy actually. So you're pregnant. So it says here you're born in 1984. That makes you 25 now. Yes. That's pretty. Let's go over why these questions were bad. Asking where you were born could be used to gather information illegally about your candidate. Are you pregnant? Asking this question may weed out women who might take maternity leave. How old are you? Companies have used this to avoid hiring older workers for a variety of reasons. You may also not ask about religious holidays because that is discrimination on the basis of religion. And drugs and alcohol cannot be asked unless you have provided full disclosure beforehand. How to ask good questions. Just remember that interview questions should help you identify whether the candidate has the behaviors, skills, and experience needed for the job. Ask those questions. Let's take a look at some good interview questions with bad candidate behaviors. So if I were to hire you, what are some of the salary expectations you have? Well, my last job, I got 50000 so I expect at least sixty. Would you be a good manager? Yes. Did you do good in school? Yeah, of course. What motivates you the most? Uh, yeah. So, how do you feel about working in teams? Oh, can I have a lifeline? Sure. Mom, um, what do you think about having uh, to work with the work uh, with, in teams? Yeah? Okay. So, just uh, tell me some things about yourself. Um, I like long walks on the beach, my dog, uh, and music. So, you're 45 minutes late to your interview. Um, well, the, the Jamba Juice line is long, sorry. For Jamba Juice? Mm -hmm. So, what are some of your weaknesses you find about yourself? Um, I can't stand for long periods of time. And, Business 150. So, why did you pick this job? I don't know, it was just a last minute decision, you know, I just, I need money. Let's take a look at some bad interview behaviors we saw during these clips. 
Try your hardest never to be late to an interview. And if you think you are going to be running late for your interview, always call ahead of time and give your reasons why. Make sure to wear the appropriate attire for the position you're interviewing for. You never know if the interviewer might take it as rude if you show up in jeans and a t-shirt. Remember to be professional. When necessary, always avoid one word answers because frankly, it is not giving the interviewer anything about yourself to help you get hired. Protocol on cell phones? How about just not even bring it into the room? In the last couple of interviews that we saw, Mickey had some really good questions that related to the job. And believe it or not, most of those questions Mickey asked are considered tricky. Let's take a look at those tricky questions and how to handle them. What are your salary expectations? This is probably one of the hardest questions an interviewer can ask you. The first thing you should do before going into your interview is to research the salary range in your field to get an idea of what you should be making. Let the interviewer know that you will be open to discussing the fair compensation when the time comes, but if pressed for a specific answer, always give a range rather than a specific number. What is your greatest weakness? What is your kryptonite? The secret to answering this question is actually being honest and how you turn that weakness into a strength. And finally, the most easiest sounding question, which actually may be the most difficult question to answer, is tell me about yourself. The important thing to know about this question is to know that the interviewer typically doesn't want to know about your hometown or what you do on the weekends. He or she is trying to figure you out professionally. San Jose State's Career Center actually has a great way to tackle this question, and it's called the One Minute Commercial. In your one minute commercial, you restate your name again, the major you took, the type of position you're seeking, work experience that affiliates you with this job, and some class projects that you've accomplished that will help you in the future with your job that you're applying for. Also include your background and some future goals that could fit the organization's need. And there you go, a one minute commercial. Some other tricky questions include, why do you want to work here? Why did you leave your last job? Describe a problem situation you had in the workplace and how you solved it. And what accomplishments you're most proud of. Unfortunately, we can't go over all these tricky questions, but just remember we have great resources at our fingertips and the Career Center. After going over how to become a good interviewer and how to be a good interviewee, let's take a look at a thorough and appropriate interview that might get you hired. Hi, nice to meet you. Have a, have a seat, have oh, a seat. Thank you. So, tell me about yourself. Hey, my name is Justin Sal, and I am a senior at San Jose State University. I'm graduating this semester. I am a business management major. Um, during my time in college, I joined a professional business organization. And uh, during my time there, I was president of this organization. When I was president, I learned a lot of leadership and communication skills because there was 50 different people that I had to meet with on a daily basis. And this really helped me understand how to work with different personalities. And the leadership skills, it really taught me how to delegate tasks properly because I was in charge of this organization. And it gets overwhelming at times, but this really taught me delegation skills. How do you feel that applies to the job you're going for? Well, this is a human resource job, and human resource requires a lot of communication. I believe being the president of this organization really set me up to communicate with all different types of personalities. So you feel you make a good manager? Yes, I believe so. Um, once again, as president, I had a lot of responsibilities. And I realized that when you have this much responsibilities, you can't do it all yourself. And a good manager needs to know how you properly delegate the jobs. And being the president of this organization really taught me how to properly delegate uh, all these tasks to run an effective organization. So Justin, if we gave you the job, uh, what would be some of your salary expectations? Um, I did some research on it and the medium salary for this uh, position is about 50000 a year. So I'm hoping around that range, but it's negotiable. Uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years? I see myself hopefully working for this company and hopefully promote it up to a management position. So what are some of your weaknesses you find about yourself? Um, I believe one of my greatest weaknesses is 
uh, the inability to say no, I tend to uh, take on all tasks. And by doing so, it, I tend to overwhelm myself and it becomes counterproductive because I can't really focus on one task at a time. So I learned from it and I realized that sometimes I have to say no if I'm overwhelmed or delegate the assignments to other people. So why did you leave your last job? Leaving my last job was a tough decision actually. Um, I really enjoyed working there but there wasn't that much challenges presented to me and I felt like I couldn't really grow as a person. And coming into the Human Resources Department in your company, I believe it will really help me out and expand and grow as a person. So, uh, any last questions for me before we go? Yeah, I was wondering what skills are required to excel in this job? Well, you know, we're just looking for somebody who's motivated, able to work in teams, and is driven to move forward and be innovative in the job. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What a superb interview. Mickey had great questions that related to the job and didn't have any questions that violated hiring laws. Justin avoided bad interview behaviors and conquered those tricky questions. Now let's find out who's going to get hired. Based on the interviews and extra attention, you're hired. Oh, thanks. I'll see you tonight. What a <laughs> Ha ha, just kidding. Let's see the real results. Alright, thanks for the interview. Uh, we'll be contacting you. Thanks. So we'll be contacting you about the job. Okay, well, thanks for having um, Ian. Thank you. So yeah, we'll be contacting you. Do you know when? We'll be contacting you. Can I have a date? We'll be contacting you. A time? Contacting you. Can I get the job? So Justin, that was a good interview. Um, we like what you're about and what you're trying to do. And Thank you. We want to give you the job. Oh, it will be my honor to um, have this opportunity to work for your company. I accept. Just sign here. Yeah, the pen. Sorry. Welcome aboard. Oh, thank you. And that is our fine conclusion of today's video. I hoped you learned some very valuable information about how to be a great interviewer and a fine interviewee. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye. <laughs>